Hey, what's up guys? It's your man 4am again, back with a new quick guide for Minecraft. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can get your hands on every single music disc in the game. From Cat to my favorite pick stab, but also Other Side F5, which recently got released with 1.19. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get right to it. Alright, so first off, it is very important to know that not all music discs can be found inside chests. Some of them have to be acquired via mob loot, while others need to be crafted. And as of right now, in 1.19, there are 15 unique music discs to be collected. Music Disc 13 and Cat are most commonly found inside both Dungeon and Woodland Mansion chests. Dungeons are those small, mossy cobblestone 5x5 rooms which come with a mob spawner for zombies, skeletons or spiders, and also 1 to 2 chests. They can be found in pretty much any chunk in the overworld and are awesome to have if you want to make yourself a mob XP farm. With a slightly higher drop chance, these can also be found inside woodland mansion chests, but these are pretty difficult to come by. And if you are ready for the end game, you can also try your luck in the ancient city while the drop chance right here is a little bit lower. Exclusive to the Bedrock Edition, you can also find the music disc Mellowy and Wait inside a buried treasure chest with almost 90% chance. Of course, you first have to locate a sunken ship, get your hands on that treasure map and locate the treasure. A very nice trick to easily locate any buried treasure when you're standing on the red X on the treasure map is to press F3 and search for the block coordinates. Make sure you're on 9X and 9Z and then if you go all the way down, dig away the sand, you should be able to find the chest right off the bat. If you're playing on Java though, you won't be able to find any music discs inside as this is exclusive to the Bedrock Edition. So let me show you a way how you can acquire every single one of them, both on Java and Bedrock with mob loot. So what we're gonna do is search for a nice flat surface like a beach or a plains on which we can place two small traps, one to house a skeleton and in the other one, we're gonna keep trapping creepers so we can farm the music discs. Right here, we've got all the room we need to place the two traps and farm for the music discs. So next up, what you're gonna do is bring just eight sticky pistons, a name tag so we can tag the skeleton, two pressure plates, two redstone dust, and also a nice amount of building blocks. Really doesn't matter which ones, you're gonna make a little cross exactly like this. And then you're gonna punch out the second blocks on the sides. On every corner, you're basically gonna place a sticky piston. You're gonna cover it up with a stone block. And then in the middle, you're also gonna punch out too deep, place a redstone dust, cover it with a stone. And that is basically it. We're also gonna place some blocks above it so um, they cannot walk out of it. And of course, also don't get harmed by the sunlight, which does happen with skeletons if you don't do this. So now if we walk onto this trap, well, we basically get trapped and we cannot go outside. Skeletons, however, can still shoot their bow so they can take out creepers. Then just a couple blocks away from this one, we want to make a creeper trap. So one, two, three, four, five. I think that's enough. We're going to pinch out these blocks, make it too deep. And then first place four sticky pistons, place some redstone in the middle, and then cover everything up with the blocks once again and place your pressure plate. So this is going to be the place where we're going to take out the creepers with the skeletons. Once again, we want to make a roof so we can prevent them from escaping. You can always make this a little bit bigger if you're scared for the escape. Same counts for this one right here. So now we've got the two traps very close to each other and it's basically time to wait for the sun to go down. I also decided to add some lighting to make the farms a little bit easier to spot. Next up, you want to trap a skeleton and a creeper inside. It really doesn't matter in which sequence, but the skeleton is going to be there forever as we're going to give it the name tag. Of course, if you want to prevent the skeleton from shooting arrows in all directions, just place blocks around it. And now if we trigger survival mode and stand far away enough from the creeper and crouch a little bit, the skeleton will simply start shooting arrows towards us, but first hit the creeper and it will eventually die. Right now, if we go and check it out, it will basically give us a music disc and this time we got our hands on far. So let's try that again by trapping another creeper. Just uh, align it with the trap itself, then it's gonna walk in there and of course stay out of the blast area and stand right behind of the creeper. 
Look at that. This time it dropped stall. So you basically want to keep doing this until you find every single one of them. If you are already in the late game, don't want to build any traps or simply are far away from your base, you can also take out a powerful enchanted sword, hit the creeper once and then let a skeleton finish it. With this method, you can find 12 in total except for the other side, number 5 and pig stamp, which I'm going to show you right now. Now, for my hands down favorite music disc, Pig Step. We're gonna travel to the nether and search for Bastion Remnants or Bastions. These are huge structures generated or built by the piglins and inside them you will find many treasure chests. If you're having a hard time locating a Bastion Remnant or Bastion, you might be inside the Basalt Delta biome as this is the only one where they cannot generate. Personally, I find it pretty easy to spot these bad boys when I'm just gliding in the nether with my elytra, especially over lava oceans because they can also generate right there. Good thing is, the treasure can be found in any bastion, but they only have a drop chance of about 5%, so Pig Step is pretty difficult to find, but definitely worth getting your hands on, as it simply sounds epic. Ah, there we go, time to fire up this bad boy. Let's move on to an all-time favorite of the community, Lena Rain Other Side. This music disc can be found on two different areas. The first one being the Stronghold, while it does have a very small chance to pop up right here. It can only be found inside the Altar Chest, which look exactly like this. And then it also only has a chance of 2.5% to pop up for both Java and Bedrock. Even though this is a pretty scary late game area, I definitely recommend you to check out ancient cities. If you want to be prepared for them, you should definitely check out my video in the top right of the screen as I will talk about everything you need to know about them and make the ancient city rating so much easier. Not only will you find other side right here with a much higher drop chance, but you can also stumble upon a music disc 13 and cat in these structures. In addition to that, you can find many more valuables inside ancient cities like echo shards, disc fragments for music disc number 5, enchanted books like the swift sneak, enchanted golden apples, and these are all the discs which I found in the chest while I was quickly raiding in creative mode. Two times the other side, three times cat, and so many more of 13. Anyways, last but not least, you're probably wondering how you can craft disc number 5. So basically, if you get your hands on enough of the fragments, 9 in total, you can place them exactly like this and you will craft the final disc. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's every single music disc in Minecraft 1.19. Definitely let me know in the comments which your favorite is. And of course, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, helps out the channel. And if you're new to it, don't hesitate to subscribe as there is a lot more coming your way. Right now though, I wanna wish you guys an awesome day. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, peace.